there, friends. Nibs again. Out in the garage, doing a little bit of goofing around tonight. And uh, I've got a mail call for you guys. A couple of really cool items. One you're going to be like, well, how come you didn't have that a long time ago? And then the other one I think you're going to find is very, very cool. Uh, it was listed as functional on eBay. So hopefully that'll be the case. And uh, we, uh, we'll have some fun with it out here in the garage. But the, uh, the first one is... Uh, Something I, I probably should have bought a long time ago, and you guys will agree once you see what it is. But uh, let's go ahead and get this out. Just uh, I've shopped for one a couple times before, and I just never got around to actually uh, pulling the trigger on it. But what I bought was, and this is an older version. I got it really cheap though, you know me, I'm a, I'm a tight wad, so, but uh, we got the Blue Book of Air Guns, this is the 5th edition, let's see what the, uh, let's see when that was published, but uh, this has all the old stuff in it, like I, uh, I'm gonna find where it was published. to like the, the 13th or 14th edition so this is at least uh, from the 90s I believe or, or maybe the early 2000s this is the soft cover version and 2005 there we go so it's not too old uh, all the old stuff that I like to collect uh, will definitely be in there. But uh, the next thing is actually the main part of this video. And uh, we've got a nice long box so you guys can imagine what's what's there. Well, let me go ahead and uh, break out my Buck 110. Cut this packing tape. Get this thing out of the box. I did post up a picture of this in my community tab uh, about a week ago. Well, it was more than a week ago now. This thing took forever to get here in the mail. The guy mailed it off right away, but it sat in, in Texas for like a week before it ever started moving. I don't know what the deal was there, but uh, it looks like it was packed pretty good. Got a lot of white packing paper all around it. This guy out. If this works, I'll be so happy. This is such a cool old gun. Oops, sorry about that. But uh, yeah, this is in really nice shape. What we have here, yeah, it's the pictures in the on eBay did. They, they looked really well, really good, and. This thing is, uh, I mean, it's over 100 years old. Let's put it that way. It's got a couple of bumps and bruises on the wood, but boy, she's in really nice shape. The, the patina on the metal is beautiful. Uh, really nice looking, but uh, let's go ahead and see. So, so this is supposed to shoot a 21 caliber uh, round ball. And I do have some of those on, on order. Um, I don't know why they're not here yet, but uh, I need to inquire about that, but I'm going to go ahead and try them with these H&N 20 calibers. Uh, they, sh think they shoot pretty well out of my, my Quackenbush number one, which is also rated for a 21 caliber. So I was thinking at least for the time being, I could use these uh, 20 caliber pellets to, uh, to test it out with and go ahead and give it a try. So a um, few things I read about it, so it has a... Right on the back here, you push this button in, and that cocks it. And then you have a loading port here that you swing to the side, and you put your pellet in right there, and then just close that up. So, but uh, <clears throat> let's try. Let's see. I read like uh, on Pyramid Air, uh, 
the fella did, I can't remember his name, uh, call himself the Pelletier, but uh, Tom Gaylord or Ga something like that. But uh, he said six pumps usually was a really good pump up for that for this thing. I don't know, it's pretty easy to pump. I hope it works. But uh, let's go ahead and it's not too bad in there. It it fits in there, but it's kind of, it's a little loose. So hopefully the 21 calibers will work a little bit better. So I do have a can across the garage. If this works out okay, I'll move you guys out and we'll take a few more shots. All right, it was it was kind of weak. Maybe it says you can go up to 10 pumps. So let's go ahead and uh, oh, move the camera out here a little bit so you guys can see me shooting. There's a place for some oil there. I kind of feel it pumping up some pressure there towards the end of that. Maybe, maybe 10 pumps is where it needs to go. Oh yeah, that's much better. <laughs> it looks like it went right through the can. But uh, let's go ahead and try a couple more. So you, you gotta cock it first. I heard it will bleed off if you don't cock it first. like the uh, <laughs> just like some of the other older ones it's not a not a powerhouse but it's shooting so this is a I didn't even say what it is this is a Swedish made air rifle and the brand name is called excellent <laughs> it's kind of neat and then the the model is C1 uh, and in the Blue Book air guns there actually is several different uh, models made by uh, excellent but this is a C1 version. They started making these in 1912, from what I understand. And then if you see up here in the front, it has this metal uh, pump handle. And the metal pump handle was only made from 1912 to 1916. And then in 1916, they switched over to a wooden pump handle. And then the C1 was produced with the wooden pump handle through 1946 again according to the the blue book of air guns um, but uh, let's try another one I'm sure it'll shoot better with a pellet that actually fits the this there is a there's a, a whiskers gap I can see uh, in there when I do stick the pellet in there so it uh, it will, it will definitely shoot a lot better once uh, I get some ammunition that'll fit the breech. But it's going right through the can, that's for sure. One more, one more. <laughs> it's too, fun, too much fun. this one head to head up against the Quackenbush number one. I'm thinking that those 21 caliber round balls will probably work better in, in that Quackenbush as well. Actually seems to be picking up some speed now. Uh, maybe I'm kind of getting the leather working again. I'm sure it's got a leather pump seal in there, but that's pretty awesome. I'm glad, I'm so happy that this thing works. Um, I'm going to go in, take my blue book of gun values in and flip through the pages tonight, but uh, I wanted to let you guys see this guy before we uh, 
went to bed for the night. A really cool old gun. So I don't know if there's any way to narrow it down any further, but it has a four digit 8700 serial number. But uh, so definitely no newer than 1916 and it may be as old as 1912. So it could be 110 years old, 111 years old. Anyway, <laughs> there you go. There's the, uh, the first uh, addition to the collection for 2023. I bought it in 2022, but it's the first one uh, to bring home in 2023. And uh, what a great, what a great addition. So I've never, I never even heard of an excellent until this was put up on, on eBay and I found it. So hope you liked the video. If you did like, share, and subscribe. Make sure you hit that notification bell. You'll be notified when I do post up new videos. Until next time, have a great day.